Zer's in Watcher's Grave in Nessus. He is currently selling Graviton Lance. Uh, it's a pretty good weapon. I have not seen anyone use it in forever. Uh, second shot of a burst rips a hole through space time, doing high damage and recoil with no fall off. That's pretty good. Uh, cosmology kills with this weapon, causes enemy targets to detonate and spawn void projectiles that track targets. It's pretty fun. It's a uh, it's a pulse rifle, even though it feels like a scout rifle. Highly recommend if you don't have it, pick it up. I always say this. Uh, next up is gonna be hunter's oath keeper uh this is like not the best exotic in my opinion it's definitely the best looking one it's just that it's unfortunately just not a good one uh bows charge bows charges can be held indefinitely basically mean you can hold the bow forever and that's cool i guess uh stats uh, are pretty dog shit in my opinion i mean 10 mobility is pretty nice because you can bump it up to 20 if you put a mobility mod on it. Uh, 17 recovery turns into 19 if you master work it, so it's not bad. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just such a useless exotic in my opinion. Uh, Titans, however, Ursa Furiosas are really good. Unfortunately, you got guys that got high mobility, so I would not recommend these specifically, but if you don't have Ursas, you might as well pick it up because this is really good. Move faster while guarding when Sentinel Shield is active. Guarded damage converts to super energy when the super ends. This is really good. Uh, just uh, remember that the super energy, when the super energy, like the super energy you gain, is capped at uh half so you can only get 50 percent of your super back so just be aware of that and last but not least it's loon faction boots uh again high mobility that's that's super rough these all these exotics suck ass um your rifts gain the additional ability to increase weapon reload speeds empowering rift makes weapons effective over long ranges again uh if you don't have it i might as well you might as well just pick it up because these are really good as well uh I've seen people use this in PvP. They're also really good there. Uh, this is more of a PvE exotic, but again, PvP, you can make it work. Again, unfortunately, the stats are pretty dog shit, but that's pretty much it for the exotics for weapons. We have Dire Promise with auto loading holster and elemental capacitor. I don't know if I would even like attempt to get wow. Full reload with this. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't pick this up just because I have God rolled dire promises already. But if you don't have one, I mean, dire promise is still super dope. Uh, last perdition firmly planted and Zen moment, which is pretty weird. And uh, I mean, some people would find this attractive. Controller players would probably love this because it's firmly implanted, increases accuracy and stability and handling while crouched and Zen moment also increases uh, stability and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. I just probably wouldn't touch this. Uh, cold denial killing wind and ooh, killing wind and head seeker that's pretty cool very niche but i know some, there's some people who would like that role um i would recommend it if you want to like just see if you like this role or not main ingredient snapshot sites and high impact reserves that's pretty interesting definitely not the god role that he sold last time but this is still pretty dope uh definitely might pick this up even has stability mm -hmm. I might pick this up. Um, Iklos, uh, the sniper rifle. This is not the god roll in my opinion. Uh, I mean, I, don't, I shouldn't even say opinion. I sh I know this is not the god roll. You definitely want fourth times the charm and uh, the damage perk on this. I don't remember off the top of my head. I do own this weapon. I just haven't used it in a while just because uh, I have other weapons that just do it better now. <clears throat> So the one that you want on the end would be high impact reserves. Uh, so you can get that much more damage. But again, for actually, I don't think this rolls with triple tap. So it might just be four times the charm and triple tap. So either way, I wouldn't recommend this. I mean, I don't know. Uh, we got Temptations Hook, which has tireless blade and whirlwind blade. Um, definitely would not recommend this. It has jagged edge. Okay. Uh, still wouldn't recommend it, even though you would be doing a lot of heavy attacks with this just because it's a caster frame, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, bottom dollar, ooh, subsistence and explosive payload. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm not gonna lie. 
I I have God rolls of this already, so I wouldn't touch it. But I mean, full on, it's pretty cool. For the hunter, we have the Kairos Function uh, armor set, which is like not my favorite at all. But these are horrible. These are ho I would want the recovery to be higher. Uh, yeah, not that great. I'll have the ones for the Titan right now. So for Titans, we're looking at, uh, oof. I, this isn't bad. If I'm being quite honest, this isn't bad. The only thing that's super low is discipline. And uh, to some people, discipline's not like the thing they want. Maybe they want high strength, which this is pretty, pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So I would probably, I, I don't, I wouldn't get these personally. I have other good arms that I wouldn't use. Like, I don't want, I wouldn't waste my time with this basically. Uh, chest piece, ah, not, no, not good at all. Helmet, pff, even worse. And then no. So Titans, you guys got dicked as well. And then for the Warlock. And last but not least for the Warlocks, we have, uh, not good. I'm not a big fan of the high mobility. If you if you see high mobility on a on an armor piece for warlocks or titans, just assume it's bad, unless everything else is really good. Otherwise, yeah, this is not good. Uh, again, not good. Uh, mm, not good. And yeah, these are not good as well. At least for me personally. Uh, obviously, if you if you don't have any of these armor sets, you might as well just pick them up. They're not that expensive. They're a thousand glimmer and fifty legendary shards. Although. If you are a brand new player, 50 legendary shards must sound like a lot, but there I can't help you. So let's get back to everything else. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we're gonna do what I usually do. What I get. Oath fucking keepers, bro. I feel like the game just listened to me talk shit about this for a while. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna throw these away. Actually, so this segues into like what I'm gonna start doing. So from now on, every Friday, every actually every Friday through like week the weekend, I'm gonna see what Zer's selling and actually make a fashion build off of it. So for this week I have to do, or for this weekend, I have to do an Oath Keeper look, a Ursa Furiosa look, and a Luna Faction Boots look. Uh, <clears throat> I might not do this every week just because again, uh, Zer tends to sell some, uh, the same shit most of the time. So if he sells something like the same thing in like maybe three, four weeks, then I'll probably skip that week, but we'll see. But I do like the idea of doing this. So I'll, I will be doing either separate videos of these or all of them together. Either way, this is going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, outlet, will leave in the description below. I think all of my new subscribers, what's up? My name's Fix Tony. I like to make Destiny 2 videos. And I do stream, but unfortunately my internet's pretty dog shit right now, so I have not been able to stream, but I will be streaming once the internet is fixed. And it would be really dope to see you guys there. I have all my socials in my just in the description below, but be safe and I'll see you guys later.